Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R3 Retail Applications New Features Training. In this session, we'll be talking about the changes to pricing and discounts. My name is Don Langley, and I am a Support Escalation Engineer on the Dynamics AX Support Team. The learning objectives for this session is you should be able to utilize category pricing rules, understand the discounts and enhancements, and utilize affiliation promotions. So let's take a look at the pricing, promotions, and discounts. For AX 2012 R3, we're focusing on category-based pricing to improve the mass management of prices. When managing base prices, promotions, and discounts for categories of products, users need to be able to act on many products at once. Our mass update worksheet that we have in X2012 R2 is a start for this, but currently it can't set discounts or promotions on trade agreements for an item. There are some small new features added to the price discount journal. The first is the default typesetting. In previous versions, when creating a new line on a price journal, you start with a purchasing price agreement, and as a retailer, you would have to change the drop-down for every line so that you're working on the sales prices. Now there is a default on the journal name, so if you pick the retail journal, every record will default to the sales price or the line discounts, depending on what you've selected for the default. We've also added the Products button to the window, and this does allow you to find and add many products to the grid. And then we've also added an Edit in Excel button. And this is using the Dynamics AX Office add-ins. You can take the journal and edit the lines in Excel and then bring back those changes into the journal. We bring additional information about the item into Excel so you can use these in the price calculation. So for example, the base cost and the base sales price. Affiliation pricing was added in R3. You can think of affiliations as a group of people that a retailer would want to give discounts to, for example, the military, AARP, or a student. Also new to catalogs in AX2012 R3 is the addition of the price groups and catalog specific pricing. You'll be able to assign multiple price groups per catalog but if your catalog has been published, you'll not be able to change the price unless you edit the catalog and set it to draft. Threshold discounts are tiered discounts based on the total value of the transaction. So for example, if my total transaction is $500, I'll get a 5% off discount. But if the total is 1,000, I'll get 20% off of that total purchase. With mix and match, we now have a proper buy one, get one free. In AX2012 R2, prior to CU7, when you added the free item, we took the amount of that free item and distributed it against all of the items on the order. With CU7 and AX2012 R3, the buy one, get one was changed to display $0 on the free item and 100% on all of the other items. Previously, mix and match was excluded from the concurrency model. In AX2012 R3, mix and match was added to that concurrency model. So mix and match can now utilize the compounded, where two discounts are added together, best price, which takes the best price from competing discounts, or exclusive. We are now saving a lot more details for the discounts in the Retail Transaction Discount Trans table. This is important for customer orders. As previously, when you had a manual discount and a line discount, and you recalled the order, you'll see only one discount and the total would display. The amount is correct, but we lose the detail. Now in AX2012 R3, we would see the detail of the two discounts. And since we're saving the extra discount data, in the Retail Transaction Discount Trans table, we'll be able to report on that detail. In Retail Parameters Posting, there is a section to separate discount posting accounts. 
previously you would set up one account for all of your mix and match discounts and one account for your periodic or your quantity discounts. We've now included the account down to the offer. So each discount offer can now have its own account associated with it. Also in AX 2012R3, Enterprise POS, Modern POS, Online Stores, and Call Center will all use the same price and discount engine for unified pricing. This is nice because you'll have the same code calculating the price for all of the items in all of the channels. Category-based rules allow users to define how sales prices will be updated and then generate a trade agreement from those rules. So let's go look at a demo of how those category pricing rules work. Before we get started on the category pricing rules, there are a couple things that I want to show you. The first is that channel-specific retail price groups has not changed in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012R3, and you can have multiple price groups assigned to your retail stores. But the thing that has changed is for catalogs under Common Catalogs Catalogs, new to this window, I've got the pricing groups and the price list. So with these, you can go in and you can assign multiple price groups to your catalogs. This one happens to have the PG Semi catalog. So one thing to note is that in Enterprise POS, we will not see catalog pricing. So the majority of what I'll be doing will be channel specific pricing. One other thing I wanna check before we do the category pricing rules is to make sure that that default will default to the sales instead of the purchasing relation. So to do that, this is in sales and marketing. And then under setup, price discount and trade agreement journal names. And then my retail trade agreement journal names, there's the relation and I do have it set to price sales. Again, in previous to R3, the default was the price perch. So I'm gonna set that back and then go back into retail. So to define the category rules, you'll go to retail periodic and then into category pricing rules. And this will open up the category pricing rules window. I'm gonna select new. Now the first thing to note is that you can select table if you would like to allow to select a customer account so this way we can have customer specific pricing. What I'm gonna do is select the group. This will let you select the retail group. Now my Houston store uses the PG-Houston. So I wanna grab that. There we go. And again, this is category pricing rules. So for the drop down next to category, this is where I can select that category pricing rule. So what I wanna do is go into action sports and I wanna do this for skateboards. So I'll go into the skateboarding and then skateboards. If you wanna select a specific vendor account, you certainly can. The options for the price rule is markup, margin, and fixed amount. You know, the markup is added to the cost of the good, and then margin is the ratio of the profit earned as a percentage, and then fixed, fixed amount is, of course, just a fixed amount. What I'm gonna do is select markup, and I want this to be on the base cost, but you could also select base price or current price. What I'm gonna do is select 10%. Here you can select a rounding version. So these can end in uh, 95 cents or 99 cents. I'm gonna select 99 cents. 
the unit is the the sales a unit unit on the inventory item unless you want to select something different you know there are all the different units are available to select now once this is filled in what you'll do next is click on generate trade agreement and what this will do is it will open up a wizard in this window you can select all items or just items without prices and I'm going to select all items and click next you can include a range here but I'm just going to do USD and then from today's date the find next is the key for retail and used to continue searching for discount combinations I'm going to mark that box the expire previous trade agreements is an option to expire any, any previously generated trade agreements from category pricing rules. The retail price engine always looks for the best price, so this option is used if you want to increase the, the prices that have been used in POS. Because if the price is increasing, you know, obviously it's not going to be the pr best price. So I'll click next and then this window is just a summary of what you've just done. I can see the number of trade agreements that I'm going to create is three. So there'll be three items on this trade agreement. I can run this as a batch job if I would like, but I'm just going to click on finish. And what this does then is it will create the price discount journal and what I can see is I've got my three items, 0113, 0114, and 0115 with the prices, and they do end in 99 cents. What I can do is I can, I can validate and post here. I don't have to make any changes. So I'm just going to post. And this has posted. But what I also want to show is that you can also manually create the price discount journal. To do that, you would go into sales and marketing. And then journals, and then there's the price discount agreement journal. And then I'll go ahead and click on the new tab and select retail. I want to click on the general tab just to make sure that my default relation is price sales, but I can change it here if I would like. I want to click on export current price that actually has not changed and then I'm going to just click in the lines now this is the part that's changed in this window is there's the add products at the top and we've seen the add products menu in other forms in AX so I'm going to click on the add products button and then in here, I want the retail product category selected, but from the drop down, you know, I can select the other hierarchies in here also. These two are supplemental, retail supplemental hierarchies. And then what I want though is under action sports and skateboarding. And then I want the skateboarding parts. In the middle of the window, I can see the six items that are available. So it's the 0127 through 0132. If I click on the checkbox next to product number, it'll select all of those rows. And then I can click on add. And then this will add into the selected products window and just click on OK. So the next thing I want to do is you can see the, the next new piece is the edit in Excel button. So before clicking on the edit and Excel button, what we'll have to do first is deploy the price discount service. So to do that, we'll need to go into the AOT and then expand service groups. And then find the price disk service. And then just right click on that and deploy the service group. This does take you know a few minutes so I have already done that just for this demo so I'm going to go ahead and close the window and then back in the price discount agreement now I'll select the edit in Excel so what this will do is this will export 
the items that are in your journal into Excel. Okay, so the information from the journal has been imported now into Excel, and you can see the current price column does show in here. You know, there's a base price in here, so you can calculate based on any of these fields. I'm going to go in cell AR2, which is the first empty cell, and then I'm going to click on the current price. I'm going to just type an equal sign, and then the current price field, and then type, I just want it to be 15, I'm going to increase it by 15%. So take that times 1.15 and then press enter. And then it automatically fills down for the, the other prices on the other items. Then what I'm going to do is copy these cells and go find the amount in currency, which is column U, and then paste that in there because these all have zero prices. So now that that is done, at the top of the ribbon, you can see that there is now a Dynamics AX. So I'm going to click on that button. And then in he under the update, you can do Publish. And I'm going to Publish All. Once this is finished, you'll get a sheet for the status. And this will let you know if there's been any failures or not. Okay, so now if I go to the Dynamics AX status worksheet, I can see that I had six records and six records were published. So now if I go into AX, close the window, and then go back in, I can now see that the amounts have all been updated. And you can still change those here if you want. Once you're finished, then what you can do is post it. Next, I'll demo some of the improvements to discounts. We'll look specifically at the mix and match discount. So first, I'll go into the mix and match discounts. And I'll show you the, my free patch with the inner tube. And I'll go ahead and set this to disable so I can show you the fields. Now, the first thing that was changed were the mix and match was exclusive only. And now you can see that the discount concurrency mode is now available and you can select best price and compounded. The other new thing to the window is the discount account. Now previously, this could only be set in the retail parameter posting window and you would only be able to set one discount account for all of your mix and match discounts. Well, now you can select a discount account for each individual mix and match discount. And then the other thing to note is in the price groups button, you can now have multiple price groups per mix and match discount. Previously, you only could select one discount group and that was in the main discount window. So now you can see I've got my outlet stores and it does show all of the stores that are associated with that outlet price group. And then I have my Houston price group, which has my Houston store applied. The multiple price groups, you know, that's available with all of the different um, prices and discounts. And the discount account is available with the periodic, the mix and match, the quantity discount, and the threshold discount. So now the other thing that's new with the mix and match discount, I'm going to set this back to enabled is again that you have the buy one, get one free, and you'll actually see your free item show in POS, which previously it would distribute the free item, you know, that discounted amount for all of the items that were on the transaction in that window. And then now since AX 2012 R2 CU7, now it does show the $0 free amount. So in POS, I'll go ahead and add my tire to show you this, and I can see my $5.99. And then I'll go ahead and add my patch, which should be the free item. And this does show now with the $0 amount, and I can see the 100% discount. And then the main full priced item, I can see the 0% discount. I'll actually talk about threshold discounts when we talk about affiliations. 
Affiliations are new to AX 2012 R3, and POS will provide a discount for customers that identify an affiliation. And this includes affiliation on anonymous transactions at the point of sale and affiliations for named customers at the point of sale or online. So when I demo affiliations, like I said earlier, we will look at the threshold discounts. Th those threshold discounts are also new to AX 2012 R3. And what the threshold discount does is it gives a discount based on the total of the entire transaction. So if you purchase over $200 on a baseball item, the customer will receive 10% off of the entire order and not just the baseball items. This is transaction totals over $300, for example, will receive 20% off. And these discounts can be a percent off or an amount off. And you can also include non-discountable items to be configured to be considered for reaching that discount, even though they'll not be discounted. In this demonstration, we'll be offering discounts to coaches and youth baseball players. So we're going to be using threshold discounts to encourage customers to purchase additional equipment. So the first thing I'll do is set up the price group. So that's in retail, setup, pricing and discounts, price groups. And I'm going to create a new price group for Little League. So this is will be used for my affiliation. And be sure to mark retail as this is a retail price group. The next thing I'll do is create the affiliation. So under pricing and discounts, select affiliation. And I'm going to call my affiliation teams. And my description is going to be youth team sports. What I'll do next is I need to associate that price group to my affiliation. So at the top menu, click on price groups. You have to have a specific legal entity as well as a price group, and that's because affiliations are global, but price groups are company specific. So I'll be using this in my USRT company, and I'll select my price group, LL for Little League. And that is the setup a portion of affiliations. Okay, now I'm going to create the discount for my affiliations, and what I'm going to do is use threshold discounts because I want my discount to be on the total transaction. So I'm to do this, we'll go to Common, Pricing and Discounts, Threshold Discounts. And I'll create a new one and call it Little League Discounts. This window does look very similar to the other discounts that we already have in Headquarters. So you can see the currency I'm going to leave at US dollar. For this one, I'm going to set it to best price. And then new to the discount, since this is a threshold, we've got the threshold discount tiers that we'll need to add. For this one, I want to give a $50 discount for over $200. So I'll enter $200. I'm going to leave this at discount amount but I could select percentage if I wanted to. And I'm going to set this to $50. And then do a new line where if it's over $500, I'm going to give a discount amount of $150. Now the last thing is to add the lines. And what I want to add is my baseball category. So I'll click the Add button, and from the drop-down, this is part of Team Sports and Baseball. Now I created that price group for Little League, so I'll go into the Price Groups button at the top. And again, you notice I can have multiple price groups in this window, but I'm going to select the Price Group drop-down and select my Little League Price Group. And when I tab off twice, I can see my affiliation, my team affiliation, shows in this window. So I'll close this window, and then I'll want to enable the discount. And then we'll need to run the jobs to push this out to POS. 
So for affiliations, first I'm going to run the 1020 job to push the threshold discount to POS. And then now that that's done, we'll want to run the loyalty job, the 1050. And this transfers new affiliations. The affiliations are part of the loyalty job. Okay, now that we have the jobs run and POS is all set up, what I've done is logged into the Seattle store. And inside the discounts button, I've added a team discount and an affiliations button. So if I right click on team discounts and go into the button properties, what I've done is selected the action add affiliation and the override name, if you click on the ellipse, you can mark which affiliation to select. Now remember in AX, I had a student affiliation, but that did not have a description. So therefore I'm not seeing it in POS. So that is something to keep in mind when you're setting up those affiliations. Now I'm gonna right click on the affiliations button that I have. And this is the action item of add affiliation from list. And then I just added the text on the box of affiliations. Okay, now that I have my buttons all set, I can start adding items to my form. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add the adult baseball outfield glove, which is 0014, and that is $189.99. So that does not meet the $200 criteria yet. And the 0017 is the youth catcher's mitt. So this now equals, is beyond the $200 limit. It does not automatically calculate because I don't have this assigned to my customer. So what I'm gonna do is click on the team discount button and you can see the $50 then is added to the transaction and split across the two lines. So now what I'm going to do is keep adding items until I am over $500. And you can see when I add the other mitt, the $50 is still distributed between these three items, and it should take one more item to get me above the $500 mark. And you can see now the, the discount has increased, and I'm now giving $150 off. So what I can do now is click on my new affiliations button. And again, this opens that a list affiliations. And the team is selected. What I can do is unmark this box and click OK, and you can see all of my discounts are now gone. And if I click on the team discount button, you could add an info code asking for an affiliation number or asking if this is an affiliation, for example, of some type. So this completes the affiliation demo. The last thing that I have to show you is we've created some new price inquiry windows in Dynamics AX 2012 R3. And these are nice inquiry windows that will show you your retail channels, your catalogs, and your affiliations, and what price groups and discounts are associated with those. So let's go into Dynamics AX and take a look at these. So there are three new inquiry windows, and those are under Retail Inquiries. You can see Retail Channel Price Groups catalog price groups, and affiliation price groups. So we'll go into the retail channel price groups. And I will select my Houston store, my Houston price group. And you can see that this is the channel that is assigned to this is my Houston store. And I've got three discounts assigned to this. I, we also looked at that outlet store on the mix and match. So I've got the one mix and match that we created, and then these are all of the, the stores related to that. We also have a catalog pricing group inquiry, and I do just have the one price group, and this is for the catalog of the Fabricam semi-annual sale, and then the price adjustment or discount associated with that. And then the last inquiry window is the affiliation price groups. And then the top one is the Little League that we just created. The affiliation is the team's affiliation that we created, and then we can see the discount. 
the student is also in there and you can see that the, the student discount. So that concludes the demo portion of pricing and discounts. So what we've talked about today is utilizing category pricing rules, and we've also exported those out to Excel and imported them back in. We've understood the discount enhancements, and we've also utilized the affiliation promotions along with the threshold discount. So I wanna thank you for spending time with me and going through the pricing promotion and discount feature of Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R3.